Maca's guides. <laughs> Hey guys, Maka here with a 100% full game walkthrough of your toy. A VR game that was then ported to the Xbox store in China and then ported to the Xbox store in not China. So this game is going to take us about 40 minutes to complete, give or take a couple minutes. I'm going to be showing you all the steps you need to do in order to get everything. However, there are a couple of luck based things. There's a couple of loading screens we can't speed up, so it's going to take you roughly 40 minutes to an hour. You're going to move your character with the left stick, look with the right stick, you can zoom in with uh, the right trigger. And this game does not have an option for inverted players. If you are inverted like me, you will have to go into the Xbox Accessories app and then uh, do that manually. So when you begin, look down on the floor and pick up the cell phone. You can use the cell phone once you pick it up and enter in any four digits to open it. Try to open the gallery. You'll need a password, which we don't have. You can use the uh, phone to make a call if you like, uh, which will prove to be completely unsuccessful. We tried calling 911. We got to make sure to go through all of the screens here. So you can also go to your mail and read an email from a mysterious person. Um, and then you can use your flashlight, which I would highly recommend turning on. And you can look up your map as well to see that you are at West Bridge High School. Now, after you do that, you'll also want to pick up this toilet paper. Unroll all of the toilet paper by pressing A multiple times. And then you'll uh, take off the roll or the tube of toilet paper. At this point, you can kind of look at a few things using your right trigger, zoom in and zoom out a couple times. There's a ceiling hatch. There's uh, a whole bunch of like spider webs and stuff. Just keep zooming in and out until you grab the achievement called Observer. Now, once you try to get out, you'll notice that there are four of these markings on the door. So what you'll need to do is look down and then flush the toilet. Each time you flush the toilet, it'll remove one of the markers. So we'll have to flush the toilet. A total of four times. And after the fourth time flushing, we can now open the stall door. You'll have to kind of move it towards you to open it. And now we are in the washroom area. There's a whole bunch of things we'll need to uh, pick up here. Go forward and look to your left. Pick up this handle. Look down and to the left and pick up the plug. You'll then want to go here to this trash and then move it to the left a couple times, move it to the right a couple times. Once you move it enough, you can pick up the duct tape in the middle there. Uh, also pick up the plunger right next to the duct tape. Go to this other pile of trash, move it also, and you can pick up a piece of paper next to it. Now you can go into the kind of most left stall, open it. As you open it, look up and to the left and you'll find a screwdriver. Pick up the screwdriver, go back to the initial stall we were in when we started the game, which is the middle of the three. Look up as you enter, zoom in with the right, and uh, use an item on this wall outlet. We'll want to use the screwdriver, which will give us the wall outlet. Now what we'll want to do is return to the middle area, and we'll have to work our way around the washroom, taking off all of the tiles off the wall. 
if you just kind of rub yourself against the wall looking down, you should be able to quickly kind of just work your way across pretty easily. If you're tapping A, one of the tiles will also have a piece of paper behind it, which we'll need. There is something behind one of these tiles which we don't want to interact with. Just keep working your way around. And once we remove all of the tiles, we'll get the suspicion achievement. There's this safe right here, which I might have accidentally pressed as I was tapping A. But behind one of the tiles, there's always going to be a small little kind of safe. And we will grab that. So let's move on to the next step here. We'll want to turn off all of the turn off the light inside of the washroom. And then we'll notice that this kind of stall goes goes crazy, opens and closes. There's like a smoke monster inside. And uh, eventually it'll close on us if we approach. So the next step is you'll see the five urinals and you'll want to interact with each of the five urinals. Once all five are interacted with, you'll see five arrows. We have up, down, down, up, up. And we'll have to interact with this safe using that code. Up, down, down, up, up. And that'll open up that safe. Inside we have a key and inside we also have a roller unlocking the master locksmith achievement upon doing so as well. Next up, turn around and look at the mirror behind us. Underneath the hand dryer, you'll notice that there's like a missing little piece here. We'll want to use an item and then input the wall cover we got from the stall at the beginning. Next up, what we'll want to do is turn around and turn on the light. Run a loop around the washroom. And then turn the light back off. Now go to the left is the most left stall. You notice the leaves, so go inside. The door will close behind you. Look down uh, into the leaves. Uh, your phone will eventually ring, actually. You'll have to pick up your phone before you can uh, move the leaves. All right, so now we can uh, move the leaves. Uh, so zoom in, left stick one way three times, left, right stick the other way three times, and then pick up the paper. Do it again. You'll get hardcore spooked, and there will be another piece of paper flying around the washroom, which we'll want to pick up. All right, now we can leave this stall. After we get another uh, text message here. Go to the left here and you'll notice there's a kind of valve uh, pipe thing. Turn the pipe, it'll spill off a piece of paper which we will want to pick up. Now go to the light switch and just continue to flick it until you unlock an achievement. You have to do it about five times, but there you go. You'll want to leave it off. Now what we'll want to do is... Uh, let me quickly see my notes here. Turn on the lights until you receive the achievement. Go towards the lock stall. So now we'll want to go towards this stall here. It'll open up, and we can check our cell phone. Pick up the call. And once the call is over, 
we can hang up and then go inside of this stall. Inside of the stall, the door will close behind us. There is a piece of paper in the floor urinal. All right. Now we come out of here. And what you'll want to do is go to the mirrors. And you'll see that they're in an order. One, two, three. The, the order can be different every time. But you have to shut them off in the right order. So we're going to shut off one first by grabbing the faucet and turning it. Now we'll actually need the faucet, so I'm going to take it off, and then I need to turn off two next. So for two, it doesn't have a faucet, so I need to use a faucet to put it on, and then also close it. And then the third mirror, also close it. Once we have all the numbers disappeared, we can turn around and turn on the light. We can then turn around and go to the other side of the washroom. And inside of this sink, which is flooded, we can use our plunger. Once we use the plunger, we will see that there is a hammerhead. We can combine the hammerhead with the handle we picked up earlier. Now we can grab that hammer and use it on a window. And just keep moving around and keep smashing windows. You'll need to smash 10 total windows in order to grab an achievement. Uh, you, they, they, they eventually, after you do smash them, they form back together. So just keep going until the achievement unlocks. All right, once the destroyer achievement unlocks, we can now turn around and look in this sink here to grab a wire. We can combine the wire with the plug that we found. One of the first things we found was like a, a wall plug. So we're gonna combine it with that. And then we're gonna combine this with the duct tape. And now what we can do is use that item on the hand dryer. Now something very important happens here, but once you do that, the window will kind of smash down, or the mirror. And what we need to do is use the hammer on this wall. But as soon as we use the hammer on this wall, a chase sequence will start. And we got to make sure we're always moving around and make sure that we don't get approached or touched by the bear. It's very important that you do not get touched by the bear. So just always make sure you're moving away from him after you do your first smash here. He's always going to take the quickest path to you. And it's only important that we make sure we don't get touched by him at this point. Later on in the game, you can get hit by him as many times as you need. Just make sure that you don't get hit at this point. If you do get hit, I will explain what happens, though. So now, what we need to do is continue to smash the area of that window. And we need to obviously make sure we're not going to get hit by him. Like I said, he always takes the path of least resistance. So you kind of have to lure him behind here and then smash. Keep running around in circles and just keep doing that, making sure you do not get caught. And by getting caught, what I mean is he touches you and then you'll notice there's a QTE. If he does touch you, if he does hit you, you can try going to the main menu, uh, but it's probably already too late for you. We're just going to keep moving around in circles and keep smashing the wall. I think you got to do it five total times.
But maybe six? He does seem to maybe get a little bit faster. And then once you hit it the final time, you'll get a key. You'll also get the Criterium achievement if you did not get hit by him. All right. Now, at this point, what we need to do is we're going to leave the area using the key. And once we open the door here, uh, a note will drop from the ceiling, which we'll want to grab. But there's something very important that happens uh, right after this door. Essentially, what we'll need to do is we're going to try to get captured by him and a QTE will come up. And you have to, have to, have to be successful on this QTE on your first try. If you are not, I would recommend beating the game. But then afterwards, you'll actually have to delete your save, uninstall the game, reinstall the game, make sure that the cloud save does not sync, and you have to redo the whole beginning of the game. Yes, it is really that lame. So we're going to use this key on this door. A piece of paper falls. We're going to pick up that piece of paper. Uh, while we're here, we can do a little bit of inventory management. You'll see that we have like three pieces of paper that all have like red scribbles on them. Uh, and we can combine those together just to uh, save some slots here. And we can continue forward. There will be a red beach ball that comes. We're going to continue forward again. And the bear will spawn behind us. At this point is your one chance, your one opportunity to get the QTE related achievement. And if you don't get it, again, you got to uninstall the game, delete your save and all that. All right. If we did it successfully, you can also grab a piece of paper from him. And then we're going to walk away. It's going to give you the nice try achievement or trophy if you did it on your first time. And if you didn't, again, we're going to beat the game and then come back to it. But anyways, you're going to move on and you're going to see all these lights in this tunnel. And this next one is completely luck related. What you need to do is you need to take your hammer. You need to smash one of these lights. And if you got lucky, the light will have a key in it. I actually got very lucky and the key was inside. But the key can spawn anywhere randomly. As this is happening, the bear is chasing me, so keep that in mind. Uh, but if you don't get lucky like me and you don't get your key on your first smash, go to the main menu and reload your game. And when you reload your game, you'll have to just keep doing this until you get the key on your first hit. It can be in any of these lights on the wall here, right? So it could be in this light. It could be in any light. Anyways, once you do grab your key on your first try or reload your checkpoints until you do, you'll have to find the exit of this area. It can be a little bit hard to kind of figure out exactly where the exit is, but near one of the lights here, there's this wall of rocks. And we can use our hammer. You have to hit it three times at least. All right, and now that he's not behind me, we're gonna hit it a third time. And now, before continuing forward, pause the game. There's an achievement for staying in the caves for a total of three minutes. And obviously, if you take a while, you might grab it. But I actually ended up doing it faster than three minutes. So instead of running around in loops and making sure not to get captured by the bear, we can actually just pause the game and wait until the achievement unlocks. So that's what we're going to do. And now that our achievement called Lost has unlocked for being in the cave for over three minutes, we can continue forward. The clock will ring and on the clock is a piece of paper we will need to grab. And then we will need to use a key on this door. The key is the one we found in one of the lights. It's not the square silver key. It's the square gold key. That'll open the door and we can now go inside. The door will close behind us. When the door closes behind us, look into the peephole. 
and do this four times. Just press the right trigger to look in. Release it, it'll look out. Rele you know, click it, it'll look in. Release it, it'll click out. Do this four or five times until the achievement unlocks. And at this point, you should grab the Voyeur achievement. Um, and now we can boost something, but we don't need to boost it if you don't want to. You can always try to do it later on. And this is probably the best place to boost it, though, as it takes the least amount of time to reload the checkpoints. There is an achievement in this game for dying three times. It's called Not Good at This Game. And what happens is if you sit in here, the bear will eventually make his way into the door. And he will walk towards you. And when he does that, he will attack you and kill you. This will bring you back to the main, main menu of the game. You can click continue my story. It'll bring you back into this room. And you'll have to die another two times in order to grab that not good at this achievement. There is tracking on it. So as you can see, I'm 33% of the way done. I'm not going to boost all three for you right now. It's pretty evident. You're just going to reload back into the same room. And uh, you're just going to die again and again until it unlocks. And then you can proceed with the guide, uh, you know, as normal. Now, once you continue the game and get back into the room, we'll have to find the music box in the middle, view the item, and then combine it with a roller. And then you will also need to combine it with the pin here. Actually, we're going to, sorry, we're going to use the pin. We're going to use the roller. Then we can pick up the box and use the music box to start playing music. You'll grab the nice song achievement as well. Now what we need to do is I would first off recommend bringing out your cell phone real quick. And putting your flashlight on. What we need to do is go out of the white door. And we need to go into the cave and find a giant white switch on one of the walls. Uh, this switch can be somewhat random. It's not always going to be in the same spot. There's only a couple locations it can really be in. So just make sure where you're coming out so you remember where you came from. And make sure you remember, you know, kind of where you're going. And uh, just keep looking for this giant white switch on the walls. And uh, make sure you're watching out for the bear that will follow you. But this is the giant white switch. It's going to be pretty close to where you started. And then once you take the switch in there, go back to where we came from. It's okay if you get caught by the bear, by the way. It'll just uh, kill your time a little bit, but it's not a big deal. And now once we do that, we can go into the room here. The door will close behind us. And what we'll do next is once you're in this room, you'll notice these hanging stars. And what we're going to do is we're going to use the left trigger to jump into them. Once you jump into them about five times, you'll grab an achievement called Innocence. Now what we'll need to do is pick up all the papers and stuff off the ground. So there's a whole bunch of these little match matchbox type things. And uh, you're going to have to pick up all of them. There's going to be one on the floor right next to you when you start. There's going to be a piece of paper on the floor as well. On the shelf, there is another matchbox. If you look at the table, there's another piece of paper. If you look at the table, you can also move something to the side and pick up another piece of the matchbox. In the middle of the room on the carpet, you can find another piece of matchbox. Right next to that carpet, you can find yet another piece. Go into this blue cabinet at the back of the room. In order to find, we'll have to move the ball here a little bit, which will, might be a little bit of a struggle. Hope, hopefully we can figure it out though. There we go. Yeah, a piece of paper under that. Then on top on this corner, next to the red shelf, you can find another piece of the matchbox. Move the curtain over in order to find another piece of the matchbox. On the ground in front of the curtain is a truck, another piece of the matchbox. Um, open the bedside table, another piece of the matchbox. And then on the bed, at the foot of the bed, another piece of the matchbox. And we should only have one piece left, which means we've done it correctly. Next up, what we need to do 
is we need to press Y and combine all of the red, the pieces of paper with the red writing on them. And once they're all combined, you can flip over the page here and there's going to be a little bit of a puzzle. Now this puzzle is not all that fun to uh, figure out, but you want to orient your page like this. And then you want to write down what the uh, the number is. And for me, in the first square, sorry, it's really hard to orient this. That's a nine because it's a Roman numeral. In the middle, we're going to have a six because it's the uh, star with six sides. On the bottom, we're going to have a three. And then on the very right-hand side, we have a five. So what I think is it's actually not a one X, like Roman numeral for nine. I think that's just a four. So I think our code might be four, six, three, five instead. Um, I guess that's slightly the problem with a game like this where they don't take enough time to make sure it's uh, user friendly. So let's try our new code of four, six, three, five. That gets us into our gallery. Once we're in the gallery, uh, we'll look at the picture. He'll say, oh, it's a photo of me. And in that photo is the is the teddy bear that I ripped up that's been chasing me around. Cool. So now for this next one, you'll also need a pen and paper. What we need to do is go to our inventory and look at the toilet paper roll. And on the toilet paper roll is a long series of numbers. It's going to be different for everyone. Mine is four, five, four, four, six, pound sign, one, two, three, eight. And once I have that written down, I'm going to go to the phone here and I'm going to type in those numbers. Five. Yours is going to be different, obviously. Four. Four. Six. Pound. One. Two, three, eight. Now, once you input this phone number, it'll make a call and the call will tell you what time it is. On the bottom of the screen, you want to write down the four numbers that appear or remember them. 2015. Perfect. So now that we have that number, you're just going to stand in front of the door and wait for a key to be slid under the door for you. All right, pick up the key. Uh, go to the safe and put in the number. For me, it was 2015. For you, it might be different. Take this plug. And now what we want to do is use an item on the safe uh, or on this control panel rather, which is the the lightning bolt key that was just slid under the door for us. That'll start off, uh, you know, it'll make everything good to go on this panel. And at that point, we can go and look at the bear and grab the bear. And you'll want to rip the bear apart in half by using your left and right stick. Now, after you do this, you want to wait a second to get a text message. And once you close that, use right bumper to aim the bear into this purple bucket. Make sure you're aimed. Press A to throw it to get a slam dunk or a slum dunk, actually. And now this next part, before continuing along with the video, you might want to pause your game and, and watch me do this next section because it's on a timer. So it might be a little difficult for you to do at the same time um, but as assuming that you have the matchbox with only like two little blocks missing this is the last block you'll pick up and as you pick it up it'll start a fire in the room which is basically a timer we'll pick it up we're gonna use this and this is the solution it might not be the uh, most elegant way to do this but I found this uh, method to be quite useful for me I keep everything on the right hand side as is. And then I start aligning things 
uh, along the bottom and then on the middle and then in the left and then for that once you do that successfully you grab a key if you die unfortunately you got to redo this whole room uh, once you do have the key go to the cabinet next to that painting use that key inside will be a fire extinguisher use that fire extinguisher on the room you won't be successful but you have to use it a couple times to like trigger the story Once you use it three times, uh, you'll trigger the next section of the game. This is a water section, which is very dark and very disorienting, but we're in the washroom from the beginning of the game. What you want to do is try to figure out exactly where you are and try to turn on the light switch. Um, once you do find it, it'll make your life a lot easier. Once you turn on the light switch, uh, you'll want to hold B to float to the very top so you can catch your breath. And at that point, what you want to do is find the ceiling hatch right here. On the ceiling hatch, we can use the square silver key. Once we open that, Teddy Bear will fall out. You want to dive down to pick up the Teddy Bear. Once you pick him up, you should grab the Collector Achievement. Which means you're doing it right. And then next up, you have to find this little drain hole and then use the plunger on the drain hole. It, keep an eye out on your oxygen level. And what you need to do is kind of time it so that the plunger is above the hole when you throw it down. And then once you are successful, uh, it'll kind of lock on and then you press A to like suction it. And then once you do that successfully three times, you will drain the washroom out. And that's the water part done. We're now back in the washroom. Press A to get up. You got a text message. You can put that to the side and then open the door. All right. Now we have to go to the hair dryer here. For the hair dryer, we want to use item. We want to use the plug. We should have a new plug now from the uh, kids' bedroom instead. That'll fix the hair dryer, which will be an achievement or trophy. Then we'll want to turn it on and then use an item on it. And the item we want to use on it is Teddy. You want to rotate the Teddy and move him so that his head touches the sparks that come out from the plug on the wall. This will light him on fire. He's going to spawn in the bathroom somewhere in the corner. You want to take out your fire extinguisher. And press use. And then you go up to him and extinguish him. And he's going to start chasing you. You got to be a little bit quick here on this first corner especially. Um, he's going to start chasing you and also using this kind of like slowing down BS on you. Anyways, he might actually end up hitting you like this, which in which case you'll have to do the QTE. Make sure you're successful if he does grab you. It's kind of hard to avoid the first time he does that power move. Um, anyways, you'll have to he'll chase you around the washroom. And you'll have to extinguish him a total of, I think, like seven or eight times. If you kind of just hug a corner and, like, you can kind of play with him to make him go back and forth. And kind of always stay in the same spot. 
And then you can always kind of attack him right as he comes around the corner. So notice how I'm always kind of diagonally across the bathroom from him. And I kind of make him go back and forth around the edges. Just keep doing that on him. Like I said, seven or eight times. And once you do that, you beat the game. So all that's left is for you to watch this cutscene, watch the credits. At the end of the credits, you unlock your final achievement in the game. So let's make sure that we are good to go. So not good at this game. We didn't die three times because I skipped that part for the purposes of keeping this video nice and short. And then repent, finish the game, which will unlock for us at the end of the final cutscene at the end of the credits. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If it was helpful, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Special thanks to the amazing people on Patreon for supporting the show. And hopefully I see you guys next time. Peace.